Hi, Grade 3. So today we are going to learn about ordinal numbers. So let us consider this story problem. So Jenny and Ann, Jenny, Ann, and Sophie joined a Mathematics Quiz B competition. So look at the picture on the right side. Who do you think won the competition? Is it Jenny, Ann, or Sophie? If your answer is Ann, then you are correct. So let's say uh, Ann. Aside from she's the one holding the trophy, her place is first and then followed by Jenny, second and third, Sophie. So this is our lesson today. So we are going to identify ordinal numbers in real life. And also we will write it in word form and in symbol. So just like this one, our output is to identify ordinal numbers from first to 100 with emphasis on the 21st to 100th object in each set from a given reference, a point of reference. So let's have an ordinal number. It tells the exact position of an object or people in a given sequence or arrangement. Just like our example earlier, Jenny, Ann is in the first place and then Jenny second, third Sophie. So it they have a specific place in the competition. So Jenny, Ann is the winner and we can also see it uh, we use it in telling the floor numbers let's say in a condominium or a building we say first floor second floor third floor fourth floor so on and so forth so that's uh, some of the example of ordinal numbers used in real life how to write ordinal numbers in symbols so first you have to add the following letters at the end of each numeral. Okay, we add ST. We add ST if a number ends with 1 except 11. So we have, for example, first, so 1 ST, and then 41st or 41, and then add ST. Except 11, so for 11, we add TH because it won't, it's weird if we will add ST at the end of uh, 11, so it's going to be a left first, something like that. So it's not the correct way of saying it or writing the ordinal symbol of 11. So it should be uh, TH, add TH. So that's the exception for 1, for a number ending with 1. Okay, so if a number ends with 2, so we add ND, except again 12. So another example. 2 and D or second and then 50 second or 52 and then add ND. Except for number that ends with 12. So we have to add TH. So 12. Okay. And then the third one is RD. So add RD if a number ends with 3 except 13. So let's try 3 RD or third. And then 73rd for 13, you add TH. Okay, so remember the exceptions, 11, 12, and 13. And then for TH, so any number ends with 0, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, you add TH just like 10, so it ends with 0. So we add TH. And then 14th, which ends with 4, and 99, or let's say 45th, 56th, 67, 78, so you add TH. So there are three exemptions only, so 11, 12, and 13. All right, so remember the following rules and letters that we need to add at the end of a number to make it an ordinal number. So ordinal numbers can be written in two ways. So first is in symbols, so just like what we did earlier in the previous slide. And let's say this one. 1ST, 2ND, 3RD. So first, second, third. So it is also, it can also be written in words. So it's like spell the word first. So F-I-R-S-T. So that's the word form. And then second, so S-E-C-O-N-D. And then third, T-H-I-R-D. So this is the symbol and this is the word form. All right. So be careful with spelling of different ordinal numbers. So let's try to read this together. So first, second, third, 
fourth. So for the spelling, just add th. Next, fifth. So the original spelling of this number is five. But then we are asked to give the word form of the ordinal number fifth. So we have, so remove ve, change it to f, and add th. So from five to fifth. Okay, so that's one of the ordinal numbers that needs to change the spelling. So from five to fifth. Next, sixth, it's the same spelling of six, and just add th. Next, seventh, so just the same spelling of seven, add th. And then eight, so this is another one. So the spelling of eight is e, e i j, I mean e i g h t rather, and then add h. So the original spelling of eight and add h. So h t h. All right. Next is nine. So the original spelling of this number is nine. But since we are asked to spell the ordinal number nine, th or ninth, so remove e and then add th. So ninth, th. All right, so be careful with the spelling of those um, ordinal numbers. Next is tenth. So same spelling, tenth and add th. Eleventh, so same spelling of eleven. Just add th. Another one, 12. So the correct, the original spelling of 12 is 12, 12. So T-W-E-L-V-E. -E. So now we will remove V-E, change it to F, and then add. Okay, I'm sorry. So add th. So again, 12 is the new is the spelling of this ordinal number. Next is 13, so the same spelling, 13, add th. So I hope you can uh, follow. Next is 51st, so it's just the same 50. Instead of 51, you say 51st because we are talking about ordinal number. Now, 72nd, so 72 or 72nd. And 83rd, so, 83rd. So just read it as it is. All right. Now, let's proceed to the point of reference. So, one, this is one of the most important thing in ordinal numbers. So, thing, uh, in saying the position of a person or uh, an object. So, we have to know which one is the left side and the right side. Just look at your hands and you can already identify which one is the left side and the right side. All right, so for this example, for this photo, let us look for the place of hands from the left. Okay, so this is the left side, and what's the place of hands from the left? So we'll count going to hands. So ace is first, second, and now hands place is third, or the position of hands is third. So this is from the left. But if you will be asked, what's the position of hands from the right? So from the right to hands, so it will be different. So the answer is different. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So from the right, the position of hands is on the sixth place. So you have to uh, read the instruction and also follow. Okay, let's try another example. So what position is the tiger in from the left? So again, it's asking for the tiger's place, tiger's position, and you will count from the left. So you have to identify first which one is on the left side and which one is the right side. So this is the left side. And this is the right side. Now let's count from the left. So this is the first animal, second animal, third, and fourth, and this is the fifth animal. But the question is, what position is the tiger in? So it means tiger is in the fourth place. OK, 
Okay, so again, remember to read the question first, understand it, find the point of reference before you answer. Another example. Who is the third girl in the line? So the point of reference is the bus because they are lining up to get into the bus. So we have our uh, point of reference is bus. But the question is asking for the third girl. Third girl. All right. So read, read, read and understand. So Ace is a boy. Emma is a girl. Aya, girl. Ian, boy. Leo, boy. Ray, boy. Sky is a girl. And Ava is a girl. Ben is a boy. The question is who is the third girl? Girl in the line. So we will not count Ace because he's a boy. So what first is Emma. Aya, ah, yes. so one, two, three. Okay, third girl is Sky. Did you get it? So again, the question is girl. So it, boys is not counted. Next, who is the fifth boy? Who is the fifth boy? So again, the question is boy in the line. So again, our point of reference is the bus. So Ace is a boy and then Emma, girl, girl, boy, 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 and boy. So Emma, they are girls. And then these two are also girls. All right, so it's asking for a boy, so let's count. Ace, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So the fifth boy in the line is Ben. Okay, next spot. Who is the sixth person from the back? So this is the bus, and this is the back. The bus, who is the fifth boy from the back? So, of so this will be our first person. So there's no boy or girl anymore. So person is either boy or girl. So from the pack, so let's count six persons. So this is the first one. Let's count. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So that means Ian is the answer. So Ian is the sixth person from the pack. Okay. Next example. Who is the eighth student in the line? So the question is the eighth student. So eighth student, there is no specific gender. So that means all of them can be counted. You can count them. You can include them in counting. So the point of reference is the bus. So ace is first. And let's find for the eighth student. So we have here first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So this is the eighth person or the eighth student in line. So the answer is Ava. Okay, so that's all for this example. And let's have another example about the months of the year. So what is the 12th month of the year? You know very well that there are 12 months in one year, but what is the 12th month? Is it January? Of course, no. So January is the first month of the year. So just count 12 and the answer is December. All right. Another one. Which letter is on the 24th place from letter A? So again, 24th place and the point of reference is letter A. So letter A here and it's the first one. Okay, you can count from letter A to the 24th place. So letter A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 or 24th place. Okay, another strategy is you know very well that there are 26, uh, 36 letters in the alphabet. So 26 minus 24, so that's 2. So you just take 2 um, letters from the end and then you'll get the answer. So letter X. 
the same answer. So there are so many strategies in math, so it's up to you. As long as we arrive with the same answer, then it's fine. All right. And I think this is the last example. So remember, your uh, study your lesson and practice because we always say practice makes progress. So thank you so much, everyone. See you in class. Have a nice day and take care. Bye.